And yes, today we are talking about bags. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicolas. I'm a 30 years old Frenchie located in California. And I've created this platform to mainly talk about fashion, luxury items or bags. So this is something we have in common. Please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel. That way we can become internet friends. And yes, today I really wanted to share with you my minimalist slash curated designer bags and also talk about um, the process uh, of me purchasing those bags as well as like when I did it, uh, how I did it and why I did it basically. If I'm not covering every information that you might find useful, please do not hesitate to leave me a comment in the section below and I will be happy to answer to any question basically. And just before we start reviewing those bags, I wanted to put a little disclaimer out there, right? Um, as I mentioned in my introduction, I'm 34 years old and I've been working for the past 10 years. I purchased those bags with my own money and I think it's important to remind uh, this context of my situation in, in this video because those items are expensive. So it took me years to arrive to a point where I could afford some, some of them. And obviously everyone can do whatever you know, he or she wants uh, with his own money. But in my particular case, I had a solid financial plan and some milestone to, uh, to check and to achieve before entering in this luxury world. Just wanted to remind that. And we are going to start by the bag I purchased first and finish by the bag I purchased the latest. So the first one in my collection is, for the first bag I purchased, my Louis Vuitton um, Kipol 55 in black epi leather. So this bag um, I purchased through a Tracy in 2017. I remember that I turned 30 this year and I just changed the job and I had a pretty uh, decent salary increase through the year. So I really wanted to treat myself and to buy my first designer travel bag and I've researched for I would say hours and day which item would be you know the best for, for me and for, for my life. Obviously I was pretty um, in love <laughs> right away with the Oakawa for my mess but the price was not, uh, not an option obviously. Uh, sorry there is a little test. So rapidly, I ended up uh, narrowing my choice into the Kipol world, right? And I remember I, won't, didn't, I was not really into like the uh, regular monogram canvas version because it was too loud for me at, at, at that time. Still is, actually. I saw this one online for a pretty good price and I compared with other sites and really decided that I wanted a black travel bag with gold hardware. This one was really in pristine condition when I got it in 2017. I'm not quite sure in which year, it was maybe early 20s. The price was pretty good as well. I got this one for less than 1,000 with taxes, I think 975. And I checked earlier today uh, the current Kipol 55 on the Louis Vuitton website. It's, it's on the monogram version. It retails for about 2,000 US dollars. So, I felt this one was a good deal. Again, it was in pristine condition. I'm using it since four years now. There is some scratch, I would say, here and there because I didn't really baby this, this bag. Uh, I took it with me uh, on the plane, uh, internationally and, and, and nationally, uh, on road trips uh, for you know weekend getaways. And I've, I've used it a lot. The only issue I will mention with this bag is the weight. It weighs a lot. <laughs> It's so, so, so heavy, especially when you have to walk, you know, in the airport for like uh, half an hour. Uh, this is, uh, you can really feel it on your arms. Honestly, beside the weight of the bag, I would say that, yeah, maybe another like point that is missing would be a strap that could be helpful from time to time. Um, this version of the Kipo is not coming with any strap. I think some more recent version uh, is coming with it, like the Mulgram one, I, I thought that. A good thing with Louis Vuitton, and I guess it's kind of the same with some other luxury brands, I can go to the Louis Vuitton Spa in the uh, South Coast Plaza, uh, it's in California, next to, next to where I live, and they can basically try to um, make it a bit more prettier, I, I, I would say. So 
yeah, I'm very happy with the Louis Vuitton service. I'm very happy with this bag and the quality uh, of it. I even made this little tag uh, with my initials. Um, when I bought the bag, the, the tag was um, without initials. So I was once I went from my first Louis Vuitton spa, they asked me if I wanted to put my initial in it. And as I didn't really want to resell the bag, I was like, sure, let's let's do it. I think it's pretty pretty nice personal addition to uh, to the bag, kind of like this on her on her travel bag. Well, that, that was for my first bag, which was the uh, um, Louis Vuitton Kipoil 55 in black epi leather. The second designer bag in my collection is the uh, Saint Laurent Medium Push in embossed uh, crocodile leather. I purchased this bag in 2018 or 2019, I'm not really sure. Uh, I purchased directly from the Saint Laurent store in the South Coast Plaza. I've used this pouch quite a bit at the beginning, you know, I was mainly using it to travel with my iPad. My mini iPad was fitting in it. And I've used it for a few events and to go to dinner and, and you know, go to restaurants in, in, in general. Um, it's a very easy bag to, to style, you know, it's black with silver hardware. So it's pretty uh, easy to it goes with everything basically. Nowadays, because I have added new bags in my collection, I don't really I use it less and less. I have to say, and one of the main reasons is uh, you're gonna see that with the next uh, the next bags we are we are going to review. And stay tuned for those bags because it's only getting better and better. Those bags all have a strap, which for me is a winner. <laughs> I have to say, I'm sticking to it and keeping it in my collection though because the design is great, it's, it's easy and that's the only Saint Laurent piece I have also. Before I purchased this bag, I actually purchased a little card holder, same in the uh, embossed crocodile uh, calf leather. And all of your basic essentials will fit in it. And I remember I think I went for this one as well because I was kind of struggling to find a, a handbag for men. I didn't want to, to go with something that I found too crazy at the time. I didn't remember seeing a lot of options at this time, so I think that's why I went maybe for this one. But yeah, I really like the details of, of this bag. You know, obviously the embossed crocodile is uh, adding like something pretty pretty unique to the bag. I love the silver hardware with the black uh, the black bag in general. One of the details I really I particularly like is a little uh, um, silver plaque that you can see on the front of the bag. Um, I think I don't think they do this version anymore. I think their Saint Laurent Paris is under is in both in the bag right now. Um, so again, that's a detail that I particularly like. I will do again some close up on this bag, and let's move to the next one. Okay, third bag in my collection is the Mill Box by Louis Vuitton. So I purchased this bag in April 2020 and I remember that I was looking for like a small versatile bag uh, with a strap uh, to be able to wear like crossbody or in the, in the shoulder and before pulling the trigger with this particular bag I Traveled to France in January 2020, I remember, and I was almost ready to buy the saddle uh, by Dior in, in leather. And something wasn't right for me with this bag, so I didn't do it. I tried the Louis in a regular size, a puzzle bag, uh, but also I was not sure. So I came back in, in the US with no bag from France, and then I was not ready to pull the trigger on a bag I like, mediumly liked. But in April 2020, I saw this one in the Louis Vuitton website and I immediately liked it. I'm generally not like a huge fan of monogram, but for some reason for this particular bag, I, I don't know, I felt it was working, you know, for me. And I, it's such like a, a, a unique bag. I mean, I've never seen it on, on, on anyone. It's pretty, I would say it's pretty rare. They don't have it listed in the Louis Vuitton website anymore, I think. And it's, the shape is very unique, you know, it's called the milk box for a reason. It looks like, basically, like a box where you can put some milk. <laughs> it's, it has gold hardware and you can close, basically, the um, top of the, of the bag with this little chain here, which I found pretty unique. Honestly, I think it's, it's beautiful. It's, is it like very uh, practical? No, because if you, close your bag like so, uh, you're gonna spend hours like looking for your items in your bag, but 
Honestly, I, I love this bag. I think it's, again, it's very unique. It's small enough that adding just a, a, a touch of monogram in your outfit worked, at least in my opinion. Um, I love the color of the leather here. I love the yellow stitches that you can see. It's a good uh, crossbody bag. It's very practical because of the opening system now, but at the same time, you're not obliged to close it with a, uh, with a metallic chain. I paid, um, I would say, less than 3000 for this bag. I've seen some on the resale market for a lot of different prices, between like 2200 to 4000 sometimes, so above what I paid for it. As far as like scratches and resistance and quality, I have nothing to say. Of course, you can see that this bag has been used because I've used it pretty much a lot and I'm, again, I don't really baby sit my bag. Uh, so you can see some different like I would say black mark here and there but I think it's also part of the charm of the bag you know to see like some that he has ages gracefully or not always gracefully with the time. I yeah I really like this bag and I think it's here to stay in my collection. Okay fourth bag in my collection and if you have watched the first video in my channel you will not be surprised. This is my large uh, puzzle bag from Loewe in this beautiful light caramel color with palladium hardware or silver hardware. I purchased this bag at the beginning of the year, so in January 2021. I was in France to visit some of my family. Again, I'm talking about all of the details in my first video. Don't hesitate to check it out uh, if you are interested about an uh, in-depth review pros and cons about this bag. Um, but basically I purchased this bag in France, so I was able to save some money compared to if I would have purchased it in the US. And that's the large version of the puzzle bag. You know that there is different size for, for the um, puzzle bags. Um, the regular, small, mini, the large and extra large. This one is a large. I wanted a bag that with a strap that I can wear crossbody, which is absolutely the case with this one. And yeah, this was a bag that was in my wish list for quite a while. I was contemplating different color uh, at the beginning, but honestly, when I saw this model with the edges, which is particular, particular for this bag, normally the edges are not like covering the other part of the leather, I immediately um, fell in love, I would say, with, with this bag. And I also want the tan color, you, you will see. My collection is pretty like black or tan or, or dark brown. So yeah, I, again, I've said a lot of things in my first video of my channel about this bag. So if you want to check it out, uh, please, uh, please, please do so. This bag is very versatile because of the top handle, the strap, so you can wear it like in your crossbody on the shoulder. Can carry a lot, it doesn't weigh too much, the quality is pretty amazing. Again, I didn't babysit this bag, it's, it's a, it's a um, pretty common thing with, with, with my bag, and it still looks like not brand new but like in a very good condition. After the wheel box from Louis Vuitton, I wanted something a little bit more like toned down, and this bag was absolutely checking this box. Uh, you don't see the, the Louis brand anywhere except to get under. under on the corner here but yeah that's I think my favorite bag uh, in, in, in my collection I, I I love it I love I love to carry it I love the how relaxed it is I love the quality of the leather I didn't really mention that in my uh, review video but one thing I really love is the suede part uh, of the flap when you remove the flap like so you can see the suede part here and I think this is very very beautiful and unique and again not every puzzle bag have these details so this one is a bag where I can consider adding like another version of it so like a, a different size or a different leather or different color I was mentioning in my, in my first video again that they do this amazing uh, black version or this amazing like red wine version that I just, I just love, but for now I'm super happy with this one and for sure this one is here to stay in my collection. And now we are arriving at the last bag of my current collection and this will not disappoint. Boom! That's, I think, is my favorite bag of my collection, I have to say. I awake all of the Hermes lovers watching this video. So this beautiful bag is a Hermes Kelly 35. 
in box leather, chocolate color, retourné style with gold hardware. This is a bag I bought uh, vintage. It's from 1992, so that was definitely a plus for me. I was dreaming about getting a vintage Hermes bag in great condition. It was honestly in very good condition for its age. Again, it has almost, almost my age, like almost 30 years old. So I saw it on eBay first, and then I basically get in touch with a reseller. It was, it was a New York reseller, and I was able to purchase directly from them. And oh my God, I'm so, so happy about this bag. You know, I've been using it nonstop. It does fit my laptop, so I can use it for work even, you know. I can dress it up or dress it down. I, for sure, will do a more in-depth review um, of this bag in the coming weeks or coming days. Again, as I was saying, it was coming with his uh, lock, with the keys. Uh, the only thing missing was a strap, but I'm not even sure that in, in 1992 where the, it has been produced, and you can see it in the, uh, here. Um, I, I don't, I'm not even sure that at this time it was coming with strap or not. I had this one from a little manufacturer in Etsy which match perfectly the, the, the box leather. I'm generally carrying this bag uh, like this, you know, I don't really close it. I like the way it looks open, but if I want like a more dressed up uh, or more formal, I would say, look, I will just close the flap like this and let the two little thing like that, just for this effect. The size is perfect for me, you know, I don't need any smaller Kelly. I think the 40 could be a good addition in my collection in, in the future. So far, the 35 is such a great, a versatile bike for me because again, worked, it, it works for work. I can put my laptop in it, but it also works you know, for my day-to-day -day life. I can just go to, I feel like I, I've already done that, you know, go to a restaurant with it and it's not, I don't think it's too big for me. And the problem with this, I can see myself adding more in my collection later, vintage or new if I have a chance to get one new from, from one store one day. And I forgot to mention, but this bag was a little bit less than 5500 which is obviously a huge price for, for, for a bag, but if you buy the Akeli 35 in store, I believe this will retail for at least or a little bit less than around twice of the of, of this price so i consider it like as a good deal especially because of the condition of of this bag again it was a vintage piece from 1992 so um almost 30 years old it was worth it for me because i really wanted this particular combo as well and that could potentially have uh, cost me way more if I wanted to buy it in store, especially with other items that I would have potentially had to buy to prove my loyalty to the brand and you know you know the, the story if you're a Hermes lover. So honestly I think this was a good deal and those bags uh, keep uh, gaining in value over the year anyway. That's a piece I will have forever in, for forever in my collection. I'm so happy it's part of it. Yeah. And that is it for this video, guys. Uh, please let me know which piece, which bag, which item is your favorite of my very small minimalist and curate collection. Also, let me know which bag do you have on your wish list. I'm super uh, curious and intrigued by, by this. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Don't hesitate to subscribe if you want to see more content like this from me. I hope it was informative. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys, bye bye.